it's the matchup for the UFC Women's Bantamweight Division title. All right, here is the number one women's bantamweight contender. She believes for a while she's been the best at 135 pounds. She's making the walk tonight, staring down the champion. Confidence, not an issue. Fear, not a factor. We'll see if this talented number one contender can shed that label and leave with a new one as the UFC women's bantamweight champion. So here she is, the undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. How about the confidence as she makes the walk here tonight? She wants to get in there, take care of business, and go eat some buffalo wings in the back. She's been the best 135er in the world now for some time. Another title defense, what's in front of her? She doesn't try to make the moment too big. And even though the challenger has a lot of momentum here tonight, she knows she's the hunted for a reason and is looking to prove that she is still the best in the world at 135. All right, now let's get you the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer holding a professional record on. 24 wins, 5 losses. She stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Monterey, Mexico. Introducing the challenger, the sniper. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 32 wins, no losses. She stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, England! Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World! UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So round one is underway after her last fight. You heard Bruce Buffer say, and still, UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. She is trying to have him say it again here tonight. She is unquestionably the number one 135-pound fighter in the world. She has successfully defended this belt in the past, and she believes here tonight she's on a different level than the number one contender. We'll see if she can prove it here and turn those words into actions as round one gets underway. Goodness gracious, she lands another head kick upstairs. That's what my grandmother says, goodness gracious. Over and over, she is landing that head kick like grandma used to say, goodness gracious. John, I'd like to meet your grandmother. 
She sounded like a hero. Another clinch position. Lewis gets caught with that punch. Well, that's how you draw it up. Nice trip to secure the takedown. Well, pinpoint execution on that straight punch. She's got to reach advantage. And she had a bad Nice leg push. Three minutes to go. Lewis's strike attempt there is blocked. All right, so there's that kick to the leg, and you can be sure she's going to go back to the well with that. She's beating up that lead leg, dominating it, slowing down her opponent. Look for her to continue doing that same technique. Big shot, man. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Nice body kick. Under two minutes to go in our first round. Freeze. Just missing on the uppercut there. I'm sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now. After taking such a massive hit. Well, her opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end. The ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing it over and over again. She needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited and lose the position. It's not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Nicely done. Lewis is trying for a Kimura here. Oh, saved by the bell, round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. All right, so a huge moment for her in that previous round, DC, as we show you some of the highlights. The knockdown nearly closed the show for her. Yeah, and that's what we're gonna focus on. We're gonna focus on the knockdown because it looked like the fight was over. Now, is her opponent tough? Yes. But is her opponent smart enough to make the necessary right. adjustment Listen, as this fight breathe, goes forward? Yes, and breathe, relax. Now, this round, I want you to look to him. Are you ready? You ready? Fight. All right, round two. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, she lands the punch there, really using her reach advantage in this one thus far. Ooh, what a punch. She blocked the punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, it's one thing to be confident in your chin. It's another thing to leave your head wide open for damage, and that's exactly what she did there as she eats the uppercut. Let's see if she circles out and tries to prevent any further damage here. And that one was heavy. Oh! Now she's got the Muay Thai plump. Right hand punch. What a big time takedown. Lewis is looking for that arm triangle. A triangle, a triangle. There it is. Getting tighter. Finishing instincts as well. You see a lot of fighters get the dominant position, but aren't necessarily able to lock up the choke or force the tap. No problem with her as she gets one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. All right, so there's the end of the round. And in terms of offensive wrestling execution, she had it all going there. Yeah, she had it all working. She did everything she wanted to do. 
she was racing to position. Once she got to a leg, she didn't pause. She didn't stop. She went right to the finishes that she needed in order to get the fight to the ground. I mean, that was a great display of offensive wrestling. So there she is celebrating with her corner, the queen of the 135ers, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. And how about the method of victory tonight as she gets it done by submission? Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 14 seconds of round number two. For the winner, by submission, and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, So after an emphatic submission win here tonight, she remains the UFC women's bantamweight champion. A lot of people thought this was a qualified, credentialed number one contender, and she was, but she proved no match for the champion here tonight, and the celebration is on. Hard to blame them after this result here tonight. Congratulations to the and still UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World.